going everybody, Brett Medlock here. Sorry it's been a minute, I've been a little busy playing a game on a PlayStation platform that you might have heard of, it's called God of War. So if you're interested in checking out my review for God of War, it's going to be live tomorrow night, early the next day, it's like at 2am or something like that. But yeah, anyway, on to the Nintendo stuff. So there's been two news pieces that I wanted to go over that I think are a pretty big deal. One of them being that Animal Crossing for Switch might have somehow been leaked or maybe it's just some type of error. So the official Animal Crossing website was updated last week with placeholder video links and placeholder news posts. This is making the internet go crazy, making people think that there might be a brand new Animal Crossing game coming to the Nintendo Switch soon. I think this is perfect timing for an Animal Crossing game. We did get the iPhone game last year, but it's actually been a long time since before that, since we've gotten an official release. Animal Crossing, as you already know, skipped the Wii U entirely. So that was pretty weird. We did get some Animal Crossing like application on the Wii U, and it made everyone want an official Animal Crossing game, but we never actually got it. But now we've gotten the 3DS one a while back, which I absolutely loved. Animal Crossing New Leaf is probably, I've said this before, probably my favorite 3DS game, if you don't include the Zelda remakes. I spent so much time with that game. I just loved it. But anyway, Animal Crossing on Switch is going to be so awesome, I assume. I would love to see the series go more in like the direction where you're building and creating things all throughout your town. I love personalizing all my different stuff and just making the town feel like it's mine. Of course, you were the mayor in Animal Crossing New Leaf and allowed you to put in new benches, new lights, new bridges. I love that stuff. I want to see them lean into more of that. Since we already know that Smash Brothers is coming this year and we're not too sure about Metroid or Pokemon, if those two games don't make it to this year, I think Animal Crossing is a big one that would be awesome to get. It might not have the same appeal as Pokemon, but the Metroid games never really tend to sell amazingly. So I think Animal Crossing this year would make a lot of sense for Nintendo to do. Which related to this is the next thing I wanted to talk about, which is the GameStop CEO said that there's unannounced Nintendo Switch games coming this year still. What are these unannounced games? I have no idea, but I think Animal Crossing could definitely be one of them. I'm not really sure what else we could have in store. I know that we haven't heard what retro is doing in a long time and it's been a minute since we've gotten one of the new super mario brothers games i personally hope that if they do make a new super mario brothers game that they change the art style for once we've had that same art style since like the one released on the ds the first one I just think you know, it's time for something new, something different. Mario doesn't have to look like that all the time, in my opinion. I mean, and we've already gotten really unique art styles like Yoshi's Woolly World, so I think if they did something like that with Mario, it would be awesome. But maybe it's too soon for a Mario game. But yeah, I'm curious what you think. What do you think some of these unannounced Switch games could be? I mean, we already know about Super Smash Bros., Bayonetta 3, Yoshi, Metroid Prime 4, Pokemon. I mean, what else could Nintendo have up their sleeves? It gets me really excited, and I'm hoping that there's this Animal Crossing game on the way. I plan on doing some more impressions videos for a lot of upcoming Switch games, so look forward to that in the coming weeks. I'm also curious if viewers would like a return of Indie Corner, that's a show that Jason used to do who started this channel, and I'd love to continue it in some form, but yeah, let me know, I'd love some feedback on what you want from this channel because I'm always here just to cater to you guys because I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys later.